Jerry Springer. Who lived here and he was a nice guy and he invited me in. And uh, one of the first things he asked me was, what do you know about the neighbour next door? And I, I said, obviously, I didn't know anything about him. And he just started laughing. The neighbours he was talking about are Michael and Pamela Hall. They'd lived in the property next door for over 20 years, and Michael had something of a reputation in the local area. Uh. Okay. But Tim wasn't going to be put off from getting his ideal home at a cut-down price by some neighborhood gossip. <laughs> guys, 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 I, I don't want to be disrespectful, chat. I, ideal home? Dude, UK, guys, they have like three house models. The one that are flat, that are on the street, this one, right? And when that's flat, but not not in the fucking block, dude. He's Literally like three fucking models, dude. Cut down price dude. By some neighborhood gossip. So I felt that because I liked the property very, very much, I liked the neighborhood, it, it, it was something that couldn't be turned down. Surely the, the stories that were coming out were a little bit exaggerated and this man couldn't be that bad. Not one to be easily intimidated, Tim bought the house and got stuck into renovating it. So I arrived in my work gear and I turned up with, uh, with another chap that worked with me and we went in to look at the work that needed to be done. And it wasn't long before he got to meet the man he'd heard so much about. And within 15 minutes of us arriving at the property, we were greeted by a neighbour knocking at my door and introducing himself as Michael Hall. Despite hearing horror stories about Michael Hall, Tim was pleasantly surprised. Quite a friendly chap, very interested to find out what Quite we were doing, chap. where we were planning to do it, and how we were going to do it. But when Tim noticed Michael's property was extremely well guarded, a sense of unease began to build. Tim started to feel that he was the focus of Michael's attention and that he was being constantly watched. Guys, guys. Did he not have HOAs or whatever? Or like urbanists or whatever the fuck to prevent to this from happening? Like, what the fuck is that, dude? Of this CCTV the man like he has a fucking compound, man. It's been erected. And you can quite clearly see that this camera is pointing directly at me. Now, if this is an invasion of privacy, guys, I don't HOAs. Know Homeowners Association. Man, stop it. Stop being weird. Now I've got Michael, the neighbor there. He's filming us, taking photos. HOAs are scams, though. They're terrible. I hate them. All right, there, Michael. Would you like me to frame some and send them to you? Tuesday, the 9th of May. Chat. This is Michael filming. Uh, at my house, dude, dude, we, had, we had cameras. Okay. Okay, motherfucker. And there, there was a piece of wire. A piece of wire. Literally. Literally. And like. The piece of wire is out, and we're getting. I was getting mail delivered to my house, dude. Dude, there's a piece of wire. There's a bit. I'm like, dude, I don't give a shit. And it started fining me, fifty bucks per like week or some shit, dude. And I was like, you know what? You know, dude. You know, you know. What? I don't give a shit. Keep finding me, and it just kept finding it. Who cares? I, I don't give a shit. Again. I'll just tank it, motherfucker. I'll just tank it. What the fuck would I? Dude, what would I care? He's setting up ladders. What's I gonna do? Setting up his iPad to film us. Because we're working on our own property. It's like 50 bucks. He's been at this all day from. Wait, what is the guy doing? I mean, with his chop saw and angle grinders. And he thinks that we're sitting out the back now, so he's decided to disturb our afternoon. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. It was like somebody from the Halloween horror movies with his leaf blower instead of Wait, his chainsaw. He's purposefully changing his location of work just to disturb them. As early as four, five, six in That's the genius. We approached Michael and Pamela. They didn't want to be shown, but agreed to speak to us. Pamela has been registered disabled for 30 years, and her husband Michael is her full time carer. Oh. They told us that when Tim moved in, they had a good relationship. He was very friendly. I was very chuffed. I was all over the moon after the neighbours we'd had. And they totally dismissed Tim's claims that Michael deliberately made noise to harass him. That's absolute fabrication, absolute rubbish. I have never used any power tool at that time of a morning. 
the earliest I have ever used a power tool is actually seven o'clock. The only okay. time. Okay, 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 stop. Nobody talks like that. Guys, I'm stop it. My husband I, I respect uses you guys from the UK. Okay, love you guys, but nobody talks like that. It's not to harass or annoy anyone. It's, it's for my benefit so that I don't fall on wet leaves. That is purely and simple. It is ridiculous. Tim was getting increasingly frustrated by what he felt was constant interference from next door. But when he started work on his garden, Michael's actions would push him to the edge. Uh -oh. This garden was an absolute bomb site when I moved into the house. They came to do the work and I was in the kitchen making a brew for them when suddenly uh, Michael appeared. Guys, guys I, I, I want to hate the victim of this, but this guy's house, guys, what the fuck is this decor? Guys, what the, is this looks like a fucking break room at some fuck, at some place that like sells bras or panties. Making a brew like, for them. Like what is suddenly, this? Uh, Michael appeared. A CCTV camera captures the moment Michael Hall approaches Tim's gardeners over the fence. And sure as eggs are eggs, only minutes after they started work, he was on his ladder over the fence telling them this, telling them that, giving them the rules. And he even hammered a sign onto the side of the fence, Wait. basically telling them what his he, rights were. To he's screwing it on! <sighs> Tim was already annoyed by Michael's actions. But when he saw Michael enter his garden, things quickly took an ugly turn for the worse. And it just made me so angry. And I opened the door and I shouted at him. I said, what do you think you're doing? And he turned with his phone and he ran out of the gate. And as he ran out of the gate, I followed him out. And uh, I chased him onto the road and, and I shouted at him. I was very, very angry. I said, why are you on my property? What are you doing? You're not allowed on my property. And he just started laughing. Um, he was giggling and laughing and trying to film me with his phone. Tim was on the edge and was ready to wage war. If I catch you on my land again, you won't be able to smile through that stupid face. So I installed CCTV cameras that would cover the front of my house, the back of my house and my garage. Tim also began filming every interaction with his neighbour, day and night. This is... He really is in prison clothes. in the morning. Seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Seven twenty-six. Ten o'clock now, Boxing Day. Still at it. So I started logging everything very, very early, and the log became very full very quickly because there was a lot of foul behaviour going on. <clears throat> the Halls have always claimed Tim was the aggressor, but it was crunch time, as Tim felt he had enough evidence to make a complaint to the authorities. We had hours and hours of footage and CCTV and mobile phone information generated to protect us, and it was us. presented to the police and the courts. A decision was made on who to prosecute. Michael was finally charged with harassment and he was taken to court and found guilty of harassment. Michael Hall was given a 12-month restraining order not to have any contact with Tim or Tim's family and banned from using noisy equipment between 9pm and 8am. So the restraining order had basically told Michael that he wasn't allowed to make any noise between 9 o'clock at night no and 8 o'clock the following shit. morning, even at weekends, which was a bit slack. So every Saturday and Sunday at 8.01 a.m. Okay, the started, dude. The leaf blowing, the power tools, it just had no effect. And we soon realised that whilst it had restricted his actions, it hadn't prevented them. But Michael Hall denies doing anything to intentionally irritate him. No, not to, not to make noise and antagonise him. Purely to get whatever needed doing, doing, done. That was it. I didn't exaggerate anything. I didn't carry on doing anything for for any line. Mr. Royal is obsessed with my doing anything. Michael Hall was also ordered to take down the CCTV cameras facing Tim's home. We were absolutely delighted because we felt assured that that would be an end to the years and years of abusive, 
behaviour from him. But Tim's excitement was short-lived. Uh-oh. Well, we'd had the court case and uh, he'd been ordered to take the cameras down. But seven days later, the cameras were still on the CCTV gantry out there. So I made an inquiry to the police and just asked them um, what, the, what the terms of the court order were. And they said, well, they should have been taken down immediately. The police came out uh, very, very quickly and, uh, and arrested him. Michael Hall claimed yeah, his failure. I think it's hard to take the police seriously when they have a fucking car like this, dude. Yeah, I hate to say it, it, what is this bullshit, dude? What is that? Remove the cameras was just a misunderstanding, but he once again... Like a fucking clown car, man. Court. Tim was convinced this would be the end of the matter once and for all. Because of his breach of the... For visibility, again, for who? The cyclists on their bicycle, motherfucker? The mailman? Straining order and how serious it was. We were all absolutely convinced he was going to go to prison for this. For a period of time. Michael pleaded guilty to breaching his restraining order. He avoided a prison sentence. Instead, given a 12-month community order and 150 hours oh, unpaid Oh, it's very work. foggy. And I feel that I forgot it rains every day. all the stuff that's happened case. is totally unjust. And it's had a big impact on my life as well. Tim is still living in the property that he bought for £60,000 below market value. Is that, guys, has there ever been a, a blue about... sky in UK? Ever? Is that a thing that happens? Every time I see any documentary or video, it's just great.